Tony D and Little Joan with a screenwriter's rant on the long dark trail. Uh, horror movie. I don't, I'm not sure what it's about. Smash like and subscribe. Thank you for smash liking and subscribing. Check out my books. Links in the description. Comedy horror in South Jersey. It's the Pineys. Books 1 through 10. Available at Amazon.com. Don't forget Kindle Unlimited is free. I will be at the Trainwreck Distillery on Thursday at 6.30 in Mount Holly, New Jersey. Come on by and hear my talk on the Jersey Devil. All right. So uh, it's kind of got a good foundation here. And the foundation is there are two uh, brothers who are trapped in a terribly um, horrible situation. And uh, uh, their dad is a drunk. It beats them. The mother, I'm not sure what her deal is, but they're, they're sick of her. So they want to escape both of them. They can't go back to the father. Uh, I think they try to kill the father. I'm not sure. It, 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 there is a scene where they tie him to a bed. They, they kind of wait until he's drunk and, and do that. Uh, then later, I guess after they've uh, killed them, um, one of, the younger brother looks into a stream and then sees his reflection smile back at him, which is odd. And then uh, there's this scene of, I don't know, a coven of witches. It kind of comes out of nowhere. It's unexplained. And they're dragging a body. Then the older brother is injured in some way. And at some point, the brother stops him on the trail because they're hiking through the woods. And he's... I don't know, he's zombified somehow? Not sure how. So maybe he died and got turned into a zombie. But then it cuts to a bunch of other characters uh, and, and some of the action from the movie. And then later is this creepy scene. I'll just play a little of it. See, his, his brother, he's looking for his brother on the trailer, trail. And he steps out from behind a tree, and then another one steps out, and then another one steps out. So what's up with that? So is it a dream or what? And then it ends on this scene. Guy sitting at a table, and it's got this music where it's like, plink, plink, plink. And uh, kind of creepy. Uh, I'm not sure what this is supposed to be. I guess he's eating. And then the end of this is he just turns around. I expected some horrible face and it's just some dude. So I'm not sure what's going on here. Written and directed by Nick Pisakis and Kevin Ignatius. I think I said that right. Um, in association with Elgin Pictures, Carter O'Donnell, Brady O'Donnell, so maybe two actual brothers here starring Nick Thire, Paul Doc Ignatius, I assume related to one of the director writers, Trina Campbell, and Nick Pisakis. So he's in it too as an actor. Not sure which one he is. The Long Dark, dark Trail. Um, some of the music was by Kevin Ignatius. I, I kind of dig the plink, plink. Plink. I kind of, I kind of dig it. It's, it's better than the piano stuff because the piano stuff I think gets overused. It's a little more like crazy. <laughs> so I'm not sure what's going on here, but I am kind of intrigued by the whole look of it. I don't know if all the elements could come together. This seems to come out of nowhere. I would like to know a little bit more information here. Let's see if there's a synopsis. Oh, here we go. This might help us. By Stand By Me meets Midsummer. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. In an unnerving new folk horror tale. Okay. Down with that. From writer-directors Kevin Ignatius and Nick Pisakis. The two impoverished teenage brothers manage to escape their abusive father. They embark on a treacherous and haunted journey in hope of finding their estranged mother who has joined a sadistic cult deep in the woods of northwestern Pennsylvania. Oh, okay. So now it's coming together a little more. So they find the mother who's in this cult. So 
Maybe they killed the father? I don't know. Um, in the process of killing the father, the brother is horribly injured. And uh, then they go to the cult, which looks like witches. This clearly looks like witches to me. Some kind of witchy cult. The mother's involved in. And so maybe... Um, Maybe the brother is the one brother who's the younger brother's going crazy. Maybe he's been uh, manipulated by dark forces to kill his brother and doesn't remember. Or uh, the other brother, the older brother dies from his injuries and the cult somehow uses his body to resurrect him or his spirit. Like his spirit haunts the younger brother in some way. But uh, it's definitely kind of an, an intriguing mix. The trailer's not super clear. Um, I kind of like that it focuses on the relationship, but, you know, we needed a little more. We needed like one line about the cult. One line about that. Again, a voiceover solves a lot of problems. I don't mind voiceovers and trailers. I really don't. Because you can cut right to the meat of the situation and tell us exactly what we need to know without giving away the movie. Um, so, yeah. I don't think you need to be coy about the fact that the mother's in a cult and they're going to see her. Like, you could have had a line like, we got to get away from dad. They do have sort of a line like that, but they don't mention the cult. So the line should be something like, we got to get away from dad, but mom's in this cult. Maybe they don't know early in the movie, so. But still, another line like, later, like, why are you involved in this cult? It's not a cult. Something like that. Uh, assuming that dialogue's in the movie somewhere. Maybe it's not. That might be the problem, right? If you don't have the right dialogue in the movie, you can't pull it out. But that's when a voiceover comes in. Um, what would you do for a voiceover? I don't know. Something like two teenage boys. Huh, we're, we're here on the trail. We got to get away from dad. Their drunken, abusive father. You boys never listen. Trying to escape. But have they escaped into hell? We gotta get to mom. I don't know. Mom was involved in some pretty weird stuff. And then you show this stuff. And maybe you focus on this. I don't know. The three-act breakdown. Hmm. Goes something like... First act. Uh, they are... Maybe starting in the woods, you get a sense of their relationship. And um, it's uh, not great with the father. They're abused, being abused. The boys concoct a plan. It works to some degree, but then it goes awry. And uh, maybe they kill him and then escape or injure him and they don't even know. And they say, well, we'll just we'll just follow the trail and go go to mom. So they do that. Uh, it, it, you know, their, their plan doesn't quite roll out the way they thought. Maybe they accidentally kill him and they figure, well, we'll just, I don't know, burn down his shack with him in it. And nobody will know and we'll just disappear. So the second act are on the trail. Weird stuff starts happening, maybe. Or maybe it's not until they get there that the weird stuff really starts to kick in. So it could be even like the first act is they escape the father. They arrive at the mother's situation. Second act is about them and the witches. It doesn't seem that way. It doesn't seem to roll out that way. I would say the witches or the cult or whatever it is comes in a little later. Maybe mid-second act. Close to the end of the second act. And uh, they realize they've kind of made a mistake. Or maybe the younger brother does. And weird stuff is happening. He's just trying to 
have a good life or whatever, or maybe he's a, maybe he killed them, maybe he killed his own brother, or maybe his perception's all out of whack. I don't know. Maybe this is all a dream sequence. So um, they end up with the mother. The mother is deep in this cult. Maybe, maybe she doesn't even mean to be in the cult. I don't know. Um, that's kind of a cool scene. I like that scene. Um, so the third act, probably something horrible, <laughs> probably some, some revelation like that either he killed his own brother or his brother is now trapped in the spirit world under, under the control of this bizarre cult and he'll never escape it. And that he wants to escape it, but he's he's just as doomed maybe something like that that would be the dark ending you know everybody's doomed everybody dies kind of thing um a, a slightly lighter ending is he gets away and uh, we don't know whatever happens to him but he he escapes the woods and just i don't know ends up on the street somewhere um i don't know it kind of depends it's a it's a it seems to be a low budget movie so kind of could go a bunch of different ways you know in a low budget movie you could do that fantastic ending like everybody just dies which can be pretty fantastic <laughs> right um and then uh, but of course then like the movie becomes a hit and then you're like oh damn everybody's dead how are we going to do a sequel now um but you can i mean i i think it's fine to do a sequel with the same cast and different characters and you just thematically make it a sequel right or you just come up with a bunch of different characters played by the same actors in a different situation with whatever the hell this is. I'm not sure. The cult, witches. I think it's witches. I think it's witches. I like the title, The Long Dark Trail. I think this has got a lot going for it. Would I say it? Yeah, I'd probably say it. Definitely would say it on streaming. Not sure where it is. Um, it's in Pennsylvania, so it's kind of in my neck of the woods. Uh, it's got a folk horror kind of thing. Yeah, I'm going to give it an upvote. Yeah, there you go. Rare upvote from me. All right. And that's it for me, Tony D, and Little Joan. Check us out on Odyssey, BitChute, and Rumble for our more base takes. I got a Hollywood hot take loading up now. We'll be doing more videos later. See you in the next one.